Uh, Andreas, is it correct? Yes. Correct. And we have our first correct of the day. Welcome to the grand finals of the Monkey League Season 1. Team Onkashinsky versus Leo Bormeo. They have been the two strongest competitors. They've had a fierce rivalry all season, and they are here to sure. settle it for the Grand Championship. I'm here with Felix Zendex to commentate the action. Felix, what are your impressions of this match? My impressions are, like you say, they've had a, an extremely fierce rivalry, not only in the Monkey League, also in the Cubing at home, um, sharing titles among titles. Um, and it, it is only, it's only fair that it comes down to these two in the Grand Final, I feel. And I'm excited for an epic match. Team on starting off with a pedestrian 669. Um, looks like he had a few lockups there, but he'll be he'll be getting warmed up. And, you know. Yeah, the scramble was interesting. It looked like a nice white cross from what I could see, but Leo going yeah, with the yellow uh, there with a 627. This, uh, the longer format will definitely be be interesting. I um, feel like, yeah, there, there's going to be leads that and going to be comebacks. It's much, I guess, easier to get on a hot streak when it's a longer match and, and come back from you know, a large deficit versus if it's just to 15 points. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We, all, we already saw the, the pre-season match between these two um, go beyond 25 points from, from memory. Um, and I would expect, uh, I would expect more of the same. Yeah, and what was interesting about that preseason match is that Timon actually had a pretty big lead to start off the the match, and Leo was able to come back. Yeah. Timon with, Timon a, with a nice salt there. Yeah, a few pauses. Yeah. Definitely a small room for improvement, but a very efficient solution. And uh, Leo's going to try and match that. Uh, it's going to be important. Yeah, it looked to like a relatively easy points. scramble. Yeah. Uh, Leo was was flying at the start, but the last layer was uh, was pretty poor. There. Yeah, some somewhere around his middle of F two L just started to feel long. So if you had to, if you had to give a prediction, to Philip, um, who who have you got? Obviously, throughout the whole season, Timon's undefeated. Leo's undefeated apart from the one loss to Timon. Um, or is it you just can't split them? I would go with Timon, uh, but uh, I think it's like a forty-five fifty-five situation. Uh, Timon has been showing better consistency uh, with the low sixes and high fives, especially when he's warmed up, and I. I think today he's warmed up. Uh, this is a money match. This this means a lot. So, uh, you know, Timon really cares about uh, winning and getting money. So, he's going to be good for today. <laughs> that is uh, that is correct. Um, yeah, I feel like we've seen against, uh, for example, Lucas, and then a couple other matches. Timon not really putting in, se seemingly not putting in much effort or focus, and just kind of cruising through those, testing out new hardware, that sort of thing. Um, don't think that's going to be the case today at all. So it looks like Timon's pretty much going to lock this average. Um, with a with a reasonable solve here. Okay, that oh, sounds yes, good. It works. Okay. Okay. Nice. Proceed. Start. Looks like looks like an easy scramble as well. Look like a 
a smooth rotationless solve, but just a, a fairly high move count there. Looked like he did some, some pretty fancy stuff during F2L. Obviously, we can't follow exactly, but... Yeah, Timon does looks, that Looks fancy. And I guess, uh, I guess what differentiates him solving well and solving poorly is how well he's controlling the chaos of his weird solutions. Um, because when he's controlling them well and looking ahead perfectly, he is gets it, fives. Is it and when he's not, already? it's like sevens. Yeah, and Timon has easily locked this average. Already the better single. Leo's just going to go for something here. Um, yeah. Leo's going to go all out, try and beat that 542. Yeah, and it, fortunately for Leo, he's not getting 4 0 here, but he'd love a good single. And that's not going to cut it. That's a good effort. But. So Timon just going to close out this average. Very solid. Low six average. Yeah. It's Timon going 3 0 to start the match. And we're away. Like you're saying before, I think. Uh, I think hot streaks uh, are going to be very important today. Obviously, the, the hot hand, the streak, solves uh, quite a thing in cubing. You often see people get out to a run of whether it's 5, 10, 15 solves in a row and they're just absolutely on fire. Um, and I expect to see that from Leo and Timon. It's just whether they do it at the same time or different times um, and whether they can keep that hot streak going. Um, it's going to happen. Do you think that scrambles uh, influence when the hot streak happens, or it's just something something else? Uh, partially. Um, what I find when I'm when I'm like completely in the zone, really focused and um, on a kind of hot streak, um, it's my inspection that's like incredible. That was um, a beautiful whoa. 478 by Timon. A wonderful F2L. That's, a nice That'll, ZBLL. that's worth looking at, and a fluid ZBLL. That was that was a classic team on solution. Four seventy eight. So it looks like team on is fully warmed up, and Leo not seeing the same stuff on the same scrambles. But yeah, as I was saying, it's uh, I find it's really the inspection. I can s feel like I can plan and see and and execute uh, quite far into the solve when I'm really really focused. Um, Yeah, that does seem to be what Timon excels at when he's warmed up, is just seeing really far into the solve. He's told me multiple times that, oh, he analyzed like three main lines, uh, three F2L pairs deep, and he decided that this one was the better one. And it often is. <laughs> so mm. uh, that's <laughs> definitely what enables him to find such elegant solutions. We are using a lot of inspection time there, struggling with the cube, grip, locking up. Yeah, and Still it's 7.15. Saves it a little bit. I wonder if the, the grand, grand final nerves are getting to Leo a little bit. Yeah, we do know that think Timon that he's... does better under pressure and Leo probably doesn't, so... Um. I guess you would say that, that Leo has an even bigger hurdle to overcome in terms of his nerves. Yeah. I, I would think compared to normal matches, they would they would both be feeling a bit more nervous. Absolutely. Yeah, but Timon has told me in the past that he thinks he did he does better when he's nervous. Um, more at stake, you know. He's got a champion's mentality. Timon getting a 649 with five pairs. Kind of lucky with that ZB at the end. It was a pretty short one. 649. Timon staying extremely solid and forcing Leo to bring out his best solving. Yeah, Timon's worst solve in the whole match has been the 6.69. 6 <laughs> um, two of them in the first average. So that's super consistent. Ooh, Leo's turning, starting to speed up a 6.46. Uh, we're seeing him uh, 
Not quite putting the full solve together, but very close. And that's great for his future solves. Should be good for his morale as well. I think uh, I think when when you're solving poorly, the hardest thing is is to stop judging yourself and and uh, just realize that you need to do the next solve regardless of the previous results. And that's something that yeah. Leo's definitely going to have to do here. Yeah, absolutely. That's one thing I think is important. Um, something I try to do as well is yeah, when you're when you're preparing for a solve, when you're inspecting, you really want to put as much out of your mind as possible. Um, you, you hear about this sort of thing in, in many sorts of sports psychology, that sort of stuff is just focus on being like purely in the moment and focusing on the solve at hand rather than thinking about everything else that's happened or the situation. Um, Timon continuing that's to quite remain important. solid. Uh, I, think, I think that solve by Timon was, uh, he, he looked disappointed. I think it was because uh, his execution was a little bit slow and, and the solution felt really fast um so getting a, a 640 on that probably uh, confused him a little there but um leo's oop oh uh, leo with a timer malfunction a resolve. Uh, is that a new scramble? No. And this? What? No, I but yeah, but I, I, didn't, I didn't do a second solve. For the viewers unfamiliar with the malfunction rule, if there is a time of malfunction, both competitors get to do an extra solve, and for the competitor who didn't have the malfunction, they get to keep the better of the two solves. Yeah, and, so and we, on we do that to, to not, uh, not punish uh, competitors for something that's not their fault. Um, we'll see if Timon can improve on his 643. This looks pretty good. Looks like he will. 593, excellent. And uh, putting even more pressure on Leo. Um, and Leo employing the, the Timon strategy of watching his opponent solve, or at least waiting to see what his opponent gets, which is classic Timon. Yeah, but maybe for Leo it doesn't work as well. Maybe, uh, maybe it puts more pressure than he knows how to handle. Yeah, and it seems like his inspection clarity just isn't great right now. He's not... He's not seeing the first two pairs or whatever he usually sees uh, in inspection clearly, and then he's messing up his look ahead. Uh, so yeah, that's the execution is a bit off as well. Pretty easy lock for Team on. Again, Leo's just gonna need to go for a, a, bit, a great single here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, four seventy-seven yeah. or better. Uh, Which is definitely not out of the question. Five fifty nine. That was a very smooth solve. If he puts, we've seen, of, yeah, I, if, yeah. I could imagine Timon doing better, but it's very easy to imagine doing worse uh, as as he's doing. And uh, Timon's gonna win that so average. I think, I think what we saw there, and also in the first average, was like Leo Timon had won the average after four solves and Leo's final solves of both were actually quite decent like the turning the look ahead the execution um, they were both quite decent um, when it didn't really matter anymore and he was when he was really going for it and being like quite free with his solves yeah and so hopefully he can use use that a little bit to maybe that's what he's struggling with he's uh, t too nervous about 
doing well when it matters. And so once it doesn't matter, he finally does well. Hmm. And I mean, Tyrone recording, recording his first uh, subpar solve there, I would say, with that eight. Start. We're going to watch here. Timon maintains his high five solving. So Leo's going to need to pull out God mode like he did against Maddie. It's the <laughs> only option. That was pretty pretty ridiculous losing with a 569 average. That was looked like a long move count. It's, I mean, yeah. you saw like a little bit of uh, rough execution, but it's probably more because of the move count than the execution. Like when, when you have such a long solution, sometimes it's hard to turn smoothly because you know the time's going to be slow if you do. Mm. And especially when, especially when you know or you you know exactly what you need to execute. Um, if you if you kind of if you can predict your PLL or see your PLL really early, but you know you've got to do a bunch of moves or your OLL is already really long, in your in your mind you're like, okay, I know what the rest of the solve is, but I've got to do these twenty moves to finish it, and so getting there, staying focused and executing smoothly is uh, can be tricky. And it looks like Leo, Leo with a five eighty four there. He's coming into form a five eighty four. Uh, that looked like a great solution. Good look ahead. So we'll see what. Timon can do if he sees something similar better. Looks like a bit of hesitation on his start. He's gonna recover pretty well, but yeah, 780. And that was all from the the slow start, I'd say. Yeah, Timon a bit disappointed with that one. Yeah, and Leo Looks actually like yeah, planned with the it advantage. Timon's warm-up cube of choice being the... Is that a 5x5 five five or a 6x6? Six six? I think it's a 5x5. Five five. Yep. Looks like they're doing a very similar solution. But Leo with the timer malfunction. Uh, Leo with another timer malfunction. Obviously frustrating. I'm not sure who that who that ends up benefiting there. Um, Leo's solve looked pretty decent until he until he got to last layer. But with the with the 666, this this kind of gives Tim on a free hit. He can he can go all out. Timon absolutely yeeting his cube cover out of the way there. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Uh. Timon gonna keep his 666 from the previous solve. We'll see what Leo mm. can do I think on this. He got the ZB really, really quick there. Yeah. Unfortunate. Case. 
So, Leo facing a pretty long last layer. So, Leo counting 664, Timon counting the 666. This is very, very evenly poised. About as close you as feel you like, get. You feel like Leo really needs this one. Going down, say, a 9 0 or a 8 to 1 would be a. Uh, that's a big hurdle. For sure. So, all the pressure's on Leo here, I suppose. And he's solving first. Let's see what he can do. Sorry. Looks like he took a long time to calm himself down after shaking his head. It's a smart move. Hmm. A really long last run. layer execution. It's going to cost him the average. Team on only needing a 7-12 to lock. It's going to be pretty easy for him. Is it locked already? Alright. I wonder if both of them are waiting for one another to start. Or if they're both going to use their full minute. Yeah, I think Leo's waiting. And Leo is going to wait. And Timon takes the average with that 626, 626 there. Yeah, so this, this solve is not going to matter for Leo. He already has the better single. So he'll just use the solve to try and get himself in better form for the coming averages. This round is going to go 2-1 to Timon, and we'll see an 8-1 score. It's a pretty big deficit for Leo. So he's going to need to find his best form as soon as possible. Yeah, it's a big deficit, but not... I mean, first to 25, it's only... Less than a third of the way there, so there's a long, long way to go. But obviously, yeah, Leo in not in not in great form at the moment. Um, I wouldn't say Timon's in you know amazing form just yet. We've seen uh, him fire up God mode before, uh, but maybe he's just doing what he needs to do. Yeah, he's been he's been doing high fives. You know, not amazing form. Maybe maybe he's just like one solve away from god mode, I'd say. <laughs> but I guess for team on god mode is like getting threes, so maybe we haven't seen it yet. So you see on that scramble is the green cross. Oh! That scramble was nice, but what he is... just locked up every move during F2L with a 785. <laughs> he had a really nice so first three pairs solution there, and it looks like Leo's going to take some advantage of that with a 568 yeah Relentless that was interesting there was speed. the green the green cross which wasn't didn't look like it was solved it might have been off by two adjacent edges um for one i could see timon opting not to go for that and going for a different cross but leo going for the the fairly straightforward green cross <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes that works out but other times you just lock up every turn for some reason well, this is a great chance for Leo. A 785 for team on 568. He's put himself in great position. And his turning looks great right now. He's going to get another... Oh, okay. A few lockups on the G perm, but 692. Start. Timon with the ZB there. It's the same ZB that Leo struggled to remember in a previous match. 
<laughs> Looks like Team One's got his ZBs down. Leo's still gonna have a slight advantage going into this next salt, but he needs to maintain his level. Otherwise, uh, Team One's just going to continue to grow his lead. Yeah, I, I feel like he, he probably doesn't want to be counting that 692 against him on in this average. Yeah, that, Look like that a AUFs on those GPMs well are always, those, those GPM AUFs are always a bit tricky. And it looks like both competitors did red cross here. Let's see if Team One finds something. Yep. 654, really there strange last layer. Um, hmm. Well, they're pretty even so far. Leo with a slight advantage, but could go either way pretty easily here. Yeah, yeah. Timon obviously with that, that hanging 7.8. That was a really nice last pair by Timon. Yeah, that was a nice ZBLS. Uh, apparently my GoPro is off. Oh, it's back. Oh, yeah, uh, it's dying. And Leo with 642. And uh, Leo needing a 589 to lock here. It's in his house. That's what he needs. He already has the better single, so it's all in his control. On this last solve, can Leo save a 3-0 win? Or uh, will he lose 3-0? It could go either way here. And is he going to wait for Timon to do his solve? Yeah, I think he's definitely going to wait. Looks like it. Uh, I've seen he's recently been employing this waiting strategy. Uh, and it worked pretty well for him against Maddie. So uh, it's probably not a bad strategy. Although maybe the nerves of this match make it less optimal. It all depends on what Timon yeah. gets, I think. And if Team One's getting this, a 582, putting immense 582. pressure, Leo is going to need a 589 to lock the average. I would say this is the most important solve of the match so far. Leo already with that best single, so it really just needs to be a sub 589 here. Uh, and a malfunction. Oh, another malfunction. Oh. It looked like a great solution as well, yeah. Yep. Oh, no, that's so beat it. Unfortunate. Looked like uh, both competitors liked the look of that scramble. And, uh, yeah, it's rough. Well, for Leo, he's going to hope that this scramble offers similar opportunities. It looks decent. Start. Oh! Oh. Oh, and he's going to lose the average. Let's see what Team One gets. Can he beat the single? No. But uh, Team One's 582 is going to count, and Leo's going to lose that one 2 1 as well. He gave it a good run, but that's a two point swing there. That's... Could have been 8 4. Now it's 10 2. But still, he's warming up. He's warming up. But Timon is just absolutely Mr. Consistent today. And obviously in uh, <laughs> most of his previous matches. But yeah, that was definitely a super important solve right there.
Well, looks like a huge lead, 10-2, to two, but Timon still has to get 15 more points. So there's still a lot of room to come back here for Leo. If he can find his form soon, it could be an even match in no time. Soon is the key word there. A few more, um, a few more loss, losses in the average, and uh, he's going to be running out of time. Ooh, 563, another quick F2L from Timon. Leo's going to need to find something similar. Uh, and he's... His look ahead is challenged there. Uh, it looks a bit flustered. And this is how it is in uh, big time matches. Yeah, Tim, I'm not giving an inch whatsoever. Leo asking, how does one get good? Well, Felix, what would you do in this situation if you were uh, if you were down? How do, you, how do you think about <laughs> getting back into form? Uh, I, I think it's uh, kind of what we, what we touched on before, is you've just got to do one solve at a time, think about one solve at a time, like, try as much as possible to oh just completely forget about the scoreline. A 5 10. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to forget about the scoreline when Team 1 is throwing down 5.1. Yeah, 673 there, and it looks like. Timon is in the box seat once again for the average. After only two solves, Timon already has a massive lead. And uh, that's going to be challenging for Leo. He needs to focus. You see him concentrating there. Whew. What would you do in this situation uh, I'd if you were Leo? I'd probably just hope that Timon slowed down at some point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, there's a bit of that as well. You can't expect to make up eight-point deficit um, when your opponent is doing, you know, low mid-fives. Or Leo's just going to get a five himself. 608, yeah, Not the lockups on the team. Well, but team on struggling. See, that's the slowdown I'd be hoping for. 881. <laughs> uh, maybe giving some opportunity. You know, a long match. Uh, we've only we're only four rounds in, and this is very likely going to go over ten rounds. So, uh, you know, it's it's about staying staying focused and smooth the entire duration of the match. And uh, I think if I was competing, I, I would I would probably think that Team One would get tired at some point, but maybe I'm naive. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, we've seen, yeah, both these competitors, I mean, all competitors, everyone everyone who cubes, you know, has hot streaks, has cold streaks, and so it's going to happen. But uh, if, I was, if I were Leo, I wouldn't, wouldn't concentrate or worry too much about what Timon's doing at the moment, just focus on, focus on your own solves. Oh! <laughs> it looked like the com competitors are staring each other down. <laughs> they both waited. They both waited for the full minute. <laughs> Timon was waiting for Leo. Leo was waiting for Timon, and they both reached the one minute limit, and they had to start. <laughs> I thought that was, we were having technical difficulties or something for a second there. <laughs> We just had a staring contest going on. It was so bizarre. Both competitors were just staring at their screen, doing nothing. No. Oh, and Timon gets a 749. <laughs> that, that's that's giving a that huge opportunity to Leo, and uh, we could uh, we could see Leo winning this average. Of course, uh, Timon has a 573 lock, uh, so yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> Like you were saying, like you were saying before, you need to start focusing on your own solves. You know, get some good solves and then hope your opponent does poorly. And that's exactly what happened after those first two. A massive swing. A massive swing. But 
It doesn't mean anything unless he can uh, take this final one. Yeah, and uh, well, Timon has it all in his control. He needs a 573 to lock here. Will he be able to do it or will he give Leo an opportunity to take this round? This might be the most important solve of the match, you know, after this slight slowdown. Winning this despite the slowdown might just be like too much to overcome for Leo. Ooh. Oh, Timon really oh, struggling he here. Oh, he really, really messed that up. A 755, and now Leo is going to have a pretty easy time winning this one. Uh, only going to need, you know, a, a six-second solve. Maybe even a seven would do it. And, uh, yeah, I feel like quick maths, Bill Wang would be a, a, <laughs> of help here, but I feel like, yeah, low seven, mid seven even does the job. Oh, Leo using all of inspection. That's a plus two. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> and Leo over inspecting there, getting a plus two, getting frazzled during the solve, and taking an 11. And Timon takes the average. <laughs> whoa, what a melt. Well, uh. Who won the average? That hurts. I don't think I've yeah, seen no an. Oh I don't God, think I've seen an over inspection yet. Yeah, and, but Leo in the last match, Leo had a fourteen point nine nine inspection on one of his solves, and his judge right, was like, right. "Yo, dude, <laughs> you're cutting it close." And uh, <laughs> well, this this time he over inspected. Yeah, I, I was watching there. I heard the twelve seconds, and when it's when it's twelve, you want to immediately put your hands down and start this start the solve. Um, and he just he hesitated for a moment and and really rushed the timer start and uh, that is extremely costly. And then he was frazzled throughout the solve. I, I don't think we can you kind of got to ignore the solve time there. Um, yeah, once you know you've already got a plus two, it's hard to stay focused. The door was wide, wide open. This looks like a really nice white cross. Oh, but he's going to do blue. Sorry. And a DNF. And a DNF for Leo. Yikes. It seems like Leo's just been one solve away throughout the match. Yeah, there's been a, a couple critical solves. The last solve of that average, the last solve of the previous average. Um, both crucial and Timon was able to uh, to take the upper hand. Well, I don't think... I, I think that over-inspection is going to really get into his head here. Um, I feel like for the next little while, until it's kind of out of memory, he's going to be thinking throughout the whole inspection, like, you know, I can't over-inspect. That's going to be in the back of the mind, which kind of distracts from the inspection. That's what would happen to me if, if something like that happened. So and a nice cool. solve. That was a nice solve. For his sake, I hope it's enough, but Timon could, could easily crush that. <laughs> hmm. Was the seal all CP there? You think that was worth it? I don't know. It's questionable. <laughs> it's, a pretty crap, it's a pretty crappy OLO case. Yeah, the big pause, so I guess you lose either way. Yeah. It's either you instantly recognize or recognize during your last pair and go on to execute the OLL straight away. Um, or you uh, you pause anyway and do the COLL. And I guess the benefit... And pray, benef pray you don't get a Z perm. And I guess the benefit... Yeah, exactly. If you get a Z perm, then you're, then you're really kicking yourself. Oh, Leo. 592. Very good turning there from Leo. <laughs> <laughs> a PLL skip for Timon in a 417. Insane. That's uh, that's the fastest solve of today. Oh my goodness. 
That was the most casual. No reaction there from Timon. I mean, it was a no P- reaction was a at all. straight PLL skip, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That, that was a very casual solve, though. It didn't seem like a great solve, but I guess if you get a PLL skip on a 5 second solution, it's going to be a 417. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just surprised Le- he didn't react at all. Leo's solving <laughs> well. It's, yeah, Timon tends to only react when he's proud of the solution. And uh, <laughs> yeah. maybe on that one, he just wasn't impressed. Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't a very big brain solution. Way too, way too vanilla. <laughs> Leo doing well here. Um, yeah, he's doing very well. Again, relying on Timon. Oh, and this is a nice solve as well. Yeah, 615. He's very happy. Interesting to see him reacting to these sixes and not the four, but that's how it is when you're team on. You have a high standard. And uh, yeah. Leo, and once again, Leo we, can get us a low six so. average here, but team on, yeah, he's got the lock. He can he can get it with a 555 or better. And yeah. I think it's pretty. Where we safe find ourselves. S- yeah. So, uh, Leo, he needs to get at least a sub six, uh, if not better. Uh, maybe try and go for that single, but that kind of is scramble dependent. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you, you can try and go for a 417. Ooh, a Ooh, 605. That looks close. That looks very close. Looks good. Leo calling it good. And a 638, so Leo's going to finally take an average. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was couple of degrees off there. <laughs> Leo, maybe this will do well for his psychology, finally taking an advantage in a round after losing the first five rounds, gonna win the sixth round two to one, so only improving the deficit by one point, but exactly. Uh, I think more importantly, it's the feeling that, well, I'm not getting completely crushed, like I, I, can, I can win, and if he can just do that a few more times, we could see an even match. We could, we could. Yeah, it's it's kind of been that case for the last solve of the last few averages. We've been in the situation where it all came down to the last solve. Timon got the first few, Leo taking that one there. It looks like Leo was inspecting much quicker there. Definitely not over inspecting, but a 689. Timon struggling a little bit with his execution. So, on the other hand, what are you what are you thinking if you're Timon now? Uh, you're, you're dominating, absolutely dominating, um, and so, by so the I think by a hair you you lose an average. What do you do? Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, I, I think well, I think it's kind of hard to put myself in Timon's shoes because I don't personally solve much much better when there's a lot more on the line. Um, so, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Timon kind of let up for a while, just slightly, um, until it gets close again. And Leo with a 541. But, I mean, it's the same advice as always. Like, just focus on the next solve. It doesn't really matter if you're solving well. And, and Leo, on the last average, was solving well for himself. And, you know, that time it worked out. Other times it didn't. I, I think if... If you want to solve well, you can't really be thinking about what your opponent is getting because it's just too distracting. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big thing in in cubing, I guess. You've got to really understand that variance, <laughs> and and be be happy with variance, or not happy, but you know, understand that variance does play a part, and not to be too hard on yourself when uh, you know for whatever reason. Yeah, and uh, Timon's going to have to margin. not be hard on himself about this kind of variance. Eight eighty three. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't call 883 a variance. <laughs> <laughs> variance is when Leo gets a 6.2 average and you get a 6.3. Well, Leo now in control of this round and with a better single, so this could be a great opportunity for him. He needs to start winning rounds and he needs to start winning them 3-0. Yeah. Ah, uh, some mistakes here in Leo's F2L. Oh, 788. 
But, you know, Timon is going to have to put down a pretty decent solution to uh, even up the the round here. And the lockup's a 760. That's counting. And that's really going to hurt his chances. He's going to have to outperform Leo by quite a big margin in these last two solves to take this average. That one, that one was really strange. I, I thought I saw like a three move uh, orange cross on on both their scrambles and I think neither of them went for orange. I can't exactly remember if Leo went for orange. I don't think he did. Timon definitely didn't. Um, hmm. That was a strange one. Maybe there was just it was a case of you have an easy cross but there's absolutely nothing in your F2L and there's, there's something a bit better. Leo hitting that 12 second inspection again but going straight away into into the solve. Ooh. Oh! Well, both competitors really feeling the nerves here. Or maybe it's just a bad set of scrambles, but... And Leo finally with a need to lock a 681. And Timon's best possible average is 716. You don't see that every day. Well, normally I would say... 681 should be com comfortable for Leo, but in the context of this average, uh, he's got a 25% chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. He's just going to hope the scramble's decent. He's going to get that quick inspection and needs to safety this one. Where is it? A 695! Oh. oh, just a few too many pauses and lockups, and he let Team on back into it. If Timon can get a, a high six, he's going to take this average. Yikes. It almost felt like he was going to safety there for his yeah. own good and got the F perm, which is a bit unfortunate, but he was, he was turning, I don't know, I feel like a bit slower than usual. Yeah, and we could see as much as a six point swing here, depending on Timon's last solve. If he gets Absolutely. the better single, he'll win 3-0 if he... It's a poor solve. He'll lose 3-0. So really, well, it could go either way. This is where he. This is where he shines. Oh, so solid. And a PLL skip. A 540 he takes the best <laughs> single by 0 .01 with the PLL skip. Oh. <laughs> You called it. You absolutely called it. Six point watch. swing right there. Oh. That was a clutch PLL skip. He takes the single by 0.01, the average by 0.04. And a 17 to 4 lead. Yikes. That has got to be tough to swallow for Leo. So now Leo has a huge 13 point deficit and we're getting close to the end of the match. He's gonna need to step it up. 576. And he does. He's been solving well at times, but you know, in both of the averages where he had a chance, he got bad solves and he, he didn't take advantage of Timo getting the bad solves. Um, so no, I, if you told me before the match that uh, Timon would win with a 7.16 average. Um, I would not have believed you. Yeah, and you can say, oh, the scrambles were bad, but I think for these guys, they're not going to get over seven averages just because of scrambles. You know, like, it's going to be a mid-six because of scrambles. So... Uh, it's possible that they're dealing with something where like they think they need to do better than they do uh, because they're judging what times they need based on like decent scrambles and when they get a bad one they do even worse um, or just like they're dealing with the nerves really anything could explain this but what is certain is that they're both struggling quite a bit and Leo especially just losing by a hair on so many rounds here. 
It's yeah. just so That's hard what to handle sometimes. psychologically. Timon's giving him an opportunity again. Will Leo learn from his last round and take full advantage this time? <laughs> Let's see. You know, this this hasn't been Timon going god mode. It's been Leo failing to capitalize when he has an opportunity. And I think if he had, we would see an even match here. Solid solve there. Yeah, that was a good solve. Uh, time is misentered. Yeah, this is this is a far cry from the uh, from the actual season match and even the preseason match. Uh, the I don't know if it's pressure or scrambles or it's just a, an off day for both of them, but. Uh, yeah, probably the pressure. The averages are not what we're used to. I mean, both these competitors, they yeah. they've never been in a high-pressure uh, situ situation like this. I mean, I guess Timon had warm-up Sydney and WCA Worlds, but he didn't do well at Worlds, so um, maybe uh, dealing with the nerves a little bit. And Leo, of course, hasn't really been in any major competitions. Uh, Leo was at... Uh, oh, a nice CB. Yeah, he was there. at Asian 565. Champs, he was, he was, and and did and, quite well there. Yeah, but I think I think uh, I remember him saying something like, "I didn't expect to do well at all," and and maybe that's what it is. Like here, maybe he thinks that he can do well, and that's why he isn't. Yeah, that's uh, that's also very common. If you have, you know, you commonly see if people have no expectations or, or low expectations, or they're just doing a an event for fun, they often. Do quite well. Ooh, and Leo with the 563, giving Timon a taste of his own medicine. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's that's very handy, especially because it's sub that 565 as well. Yeah, and uh, he's won all three solves so far. So, uh, four O possibilities in the air. You've called uh, you've called a few things already. Um, let's see if your psychic powers work again. And the chat's just the gonna say that it's, swing it's from memory. They're just gonna they're just gonna say it's scripted. Like oh, he, he saw the match <laughs> ahead of time. <laughs> did you did Philip? Did you place higher than Tim on at Worlds, or was it? Uh, uh, no, I finished right behind him. Ah. Uh, he was in 7th with a 721 average, I was in 8th with a 744. But I did beat all of the other Monkey League competitors. <laughs> the other what? <laughs> I beat every other Monkey League competitor. <laughs> That's epic. So maybe that's why Timon will win this, uh, because he's the only one who beat me at Worlds. Leo using a lot of inspection there as well. And he kind of slipped up on the start. I think he was frazzled and rushing to start the timer there after taking oh, yeah, and there goes much the too much inspection, I think. So the chat knows that it's not scripted, but Leo can lock <laughs> it with a 6.03 here. Perfect. There's going to be a lot of pressure on this last solve. Is Leo going to be able to take advantage of the 603 lock? That's not an easy lock, and they're both going to be looking at uh, low six, high five averages. So, yeah, Leo doesn't have much of a lead. Not much of a lead at all. He really needs opting this. opting to solve first. This is absolutely he essential. Opts to solve first. Maybe he doesn't want to know what Timon gets because it could be demoralizing. He's just going to focus on his own solve. Ooh, and a 616. And that not... gives Timon a chance. If Timon can get a, a 5.6 or lower, he's going to win the average. Are we going to see another six-point swing? Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is huge. <laughs> Are we going to see another six-point swing? This is exactly the same One thing solve, we saw six in the last Six round. points. <laughs> this is the same thing we saw in the last round. And this was a very, very solid average from Leo here and, and Timon, potentially. 
So. Oh, team on. Oh, 593. I think that means Leo takes it 3 0. I think it does. I think Finally. it does. Finally. A 609 versus a There we a go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The, these, mat these, these rounds are really, really close. So, um, I think that? the last time, though, we saw the same thing except with a full second slower. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Leo probably feeling pretty relieved. Yeah, and also a 10 point a little deficit. Bit frustrated. 10 point deficit's looking a lot better than a 16 point deficit. Um, but he's only won two rounds so far, and he's going to need to win a lot more than that to win this match. Yeah. And he's going to need to win them 3 0. Like, if you give Team on too many points, he might just take the round and take the match at some point with the singles. Oh, that was a nice CB recognition there. Yeah, quick, no pause, very smooth solve overall. And the ZBLS as well. Yeah, it's always very satisfying to see ZBLS. Uh, they typically have these like nice D moves. Uh, Team on executes <laughs> the, them really yeah. nicely. Um, the dot case to um, yeah, exactly. When, when you have the disconnected pair dot case. Yeah, those are very uh, satisfying. What's been your favorite solve of the Monkey League mm. season one? Uh, I think when when Timon beat Leo with a 451, that was that was pretty impressive. Yeah, it's it's good, Timon. It's good. Um, yeah, that that time that Leo got a 468 after struggling, and we all thought he was going to take the single, and then Timon comes out with a slightly better solution. And a 451. I was, it's just. I was thinking the exact same. Either that or the the 420 435 combo. Yeah, but there they did the exact same solution, so it's yeah. a little bit less interesting to me. And I think the most interesting part of this league is that the competitors are doing the same scrambles, and. You know, same scrambles. They could find similar solutions, but what's even more interesting is when they find slightly different solutions and one is just a little bit better. Yeah, I wouldn't think too many people are, are doing solutions the same way Timon does. Um, I feel like his solutions would be far less kind of standard CFOP. Okay, okay. 640 versus 632. A very even start, Please. but um, Leo winning the solve is good because, you know, it, I, I know it's a little bit too early to talk about it, but the 4 0 is still alive. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> if, you call, if you call a 4 0 every single round, then yes, eventually you'll, you'll get one. <laughs> Well, I'm just I'm just hoping to see it because you know I, I want to see a close match and um, you know it'd be nice if Leo could uh, increase his score as quickly as possible. <laughs> it's going to be a very very difficult ask. Start. Ooh, some nice pseudo slotting by Timon, but a 760. Let's see what Leo. Oh, Leo with a 608, solving well, winning the second solve yeah. as well. Here we go. He, he almost went to 15 there in inspection again. I I thought. Yeah, but well he's managed to hold it together. He's got to be careful about that. Over inspection is a brutal thing. You do not want to over inspect. It basically means a DNF. I, I mean, essentially. Was that a six-point swing when it was the over-inspection, or was that... Uh, I think it was... Well, we don't know what what he would yeah. have gotten, but uh, something like that, yeah. 
Starson. Leo's staying very solid with a 657, but I think T1 can beat this. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, the lockups! And Leo wins the third solve. Mm. I was just about to say it was a very smooth solution. <laughs> it was until the last layer. Maybe the cubing god stepping in there, intervening, preventing Leo f of Timon from finishing his solve and uh, giving Leo an opportunity. It's not over till it's over. Leo with a very nice F2L and the A perma 601. Extremely solid. Did I oh. heard the fill up this hole? The like, single is gonna be very second. important. And we're seeing an unusual situation here. Leo has actually already locked the average before the last solve. We have. <laughs> we have not seen that yet today, but the single is going to be very important. He rushes the PL execution there. And the plus two. This. That might cost him a 4 0. We could see as much as a two point oh. swing here. You're right. You're right. Depending on the. <laughs> I had not even noticed that he was ready for a 4 0. Although. Ah, uh, there we go. Timon gets the single point. That was crucial. That was absolutely crucial. Wow. And a two point swing indeed. Two to one instead of four to zero. But Leo winning that average, 18 to nine, decreasing the deficit a little bit. Uh, I would like a timeout. Okay. And Timon's going to take a timeout here. What are you doing? Some studying or something? What's up with the thing? No, I'm gonna write down the variations. What? <laughs> what? What are you writing down? 
writing down the variations? <laughs> what? This is a Max Park shit oh, where he scoring. shows the... <laughs> oh, he's writing down the scoring variations. Oh my god. What? It's a scoring variation. Maybe he's trying to write down like what the situations are. Like Fuck. how many points he needs to get in every right. situation. Uh, seven. Yeah, seven well, points. I know how many points I need to get, but I need to know like if I if I get this many points, like this many times, does that achieve it? Seven is uh yeah. So if you win the it's single, it's a three zero and a four. -er. Are you saying if yeah, you win four, the single? Yeah, four three is optimal. And then... if you win the single every time, I think it's a tie match actually. Well, I, that's not what I'm aiming for though. Well, yeah, well, I, mainly <laughs> I looked at 1 plus 2 plus 3, and that is not enough, because that's 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 6, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what about... <laughs> what about... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. What if you add a 1 onto that? Yeah, well, like, that's... <laughs> yes, intense math. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was good. Right. <laughs> okay. Calculated. Five head. <laughs> Anyways, that's true. <laughs> it's too big. And be careful. <gasps> too many maths. Well, we can go. Okay, Lee, are you recording? Yep. Okay, we're starting. We really needs to keep winning those averages. He's won the last two averages, um, but just given this. Ooh, the and deficit, a 543. That was the smoothest solution I've seen from him all day. That's pretty nice. Looking good after the timeout, and uh, let's we'll see if Timon's calculations during the break uh, will benefit his solving here. What was that? Interesting last pair there. Yeah, he seemed to do a last pair to get a ZB, which didn't make much sense. Like, I don't know, it looked like he already had OLL and then he did something to get a ZB. Yeah, that's what, that's what it looked like to me. Hmm. We are going straight into the second solve. He's won the last two rounds. Could we potentially say a comeback? A 577. It's looking good for Leo. Leo turning on god mode, maybe? We'll see. <laughs> so semi god, yeah. Yeah, semi god it's mode. It's pretty, uh, it's a solid start. Timon's struggling with being a bit too fancy uh, on his F2L. 
Uh, it looked like yeah, a low move. You got to keep it simple. It looked like a low move count solution, but just too many pauses during the execution. Yeah, yeah. Looked like a bit too much thinking there in the F2L. Yeah, and maybe that's the effect of math. You know, t too much thinking. Maybe he needs to stop <laughs> thinking. Yeah. Well, Leo's won the first solve by a s two seconds, the second solve by a second. Looking great for his average. Let's see if he can maintain the five second solves. Not over inspecting either. Even with a few lockups, this is still going to be a solid. Mm, never mind, an 8 uh, 12. That's not what you want. Well, that's not what you want in that situation. <laughs> you kind of want to just be happy with like a high 6. Uh, yeah. to give yourself some buffer. Looks like Timon's also struggling with the scramble. <gasps> and Timon with an 827! That looked like psychology. That looked like Timon looked at what Leo got and was like, oh, I can beat that, and then... And then uh, just got too nervous once he was getting close. I, I mean, like, it looked like it took him a really long time to finish off the solve. Like, the, the the F2L was, like, pretty locky, but I think he still was on pace for at least a low 7. Well, what that means is that Leo's won the first three solves, and he's not going to be punished at all for his 8. So, that's good, and he's going to move on and try and get a, another great solve on this one. And there he is with the low six. Yeah, Leo flying through it. And he's going to win the fourth solve, too. Oh. Leo's already locked the average, already has the better single. So a best possible average of 588 for Leo. Is Leo back? Team on not even looking at a sub seven potential. Both competitors this are going to try and go moment. all out here. This could be as much as a two-point swing. Leo already with the average, but looking for that 4-0, and he is definitely going to try to wait here. Although I think we yeah, have a situation is... where both competitors are going to try to wait. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to come up against the one-minute time limit. <laughs> Stoic. <laughs> I mean, if that's the plan, then <laughs> that's just what they're going to do. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's only one point the four zero, but you feel like it's a big psychological thing to get to take uh, take a, a set four zero. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just not starting. Yeah, they're gonna wait. It's <laughs> they're waiting till the minute. It's the only solution. <laughs> Staring each other down. <laughs> and Leo has to start. Leo got called. Um, I don't know how late Timon was. Does he, does he have time to watch Leo's? Or is he going to run out of time? Oh, Leo's looking good though! A 540! Clutching it, getting his best single, best possible average. And, uh, well, it's going to be a hard time for Timon to beat. But he knows what he has to get. Let's, that is, that is, uh, yeah, that is a big solve right there. In great shape for the 4 0. Ooh, Timon! A 546! Oh. He just oh. missed it! He just missed it, and Leo gets the 4 0 sweep! That's a huge 4 0 for the score! That was a pretty impressive solve there from Timon as well. Oh. He knew. He knew. And he's only down by five. The comeback is on. A seven flat average for Timon. A 588 for Leo. And we're going into this next round with Leo having won the last three rounds on the comeback train. It's been a while since Timon was dominating. And, you know, these sub seven averages not going to be good for his confidence. Well, you say that, but I kind of feel like now is the situation where Timo absolutely thrives. Um, I would be expecting big things from Timon, at least in this average.
And it looks like Leo's warmed up, solving well a 574. Here we go. This is uh this is what we want. A uh, very calm solution. A 532. <laughs> Timon is back. You just knew it. You absolutely knew it. <laughs> I've seen this all before. This is a big average here. This is a huge average. If Leo gets a, a three zero or even a two one, that's uh, that's going to be going to be massive. But if if Timon gets a three zero, that puts him twenty one thirteen, and you kind of feel that's uh, that feels almost over. the match. Yeah, seven ninety. Oh, this is Timon's moment. This is where he can essentially win the match. He needs to stop Leo's comeback train. It's about to pull into the station. Will he block it? Six oh seven. And he's flying through that one as well. That was a solid solve, but I think uh, it still gives Leo a chance here if he can get the speed back for these last three. Yeah. Although I've noticed definitely Timon's turning. These couple last couple of solves has really picked up. No more of those fancy kind of pausey F two Ls. Um, I think he's just trying to keep it simple and, and turn quickly, and it's working. Yeah, and I guess we're kind of seeing what I mentioned earlier. Like, Timon will kind of let up, but as soon as it's crunch time, he suddenly solves amazingly. And it's like the pressure makes yeah. it better. Leo. Oh! ZB there. That was uh, a bit nasty. That was not a Sorry. clean solve. That. That could be the deciding solve right there. We'll see what Timon can do on the same scramble. Looks like there isn't much. Yeah, Timon looking around no, doesn't quite know what to do. Flipping the cube flipping the cube over at eight seconds is never a good sign. But he but found something! He's flying through this. He found oh, something boom. in an easy ZB of 549! Timon clutching it. And Timon's taking the first three solves of this average. Potentially looking to give Leo what he get what he got last round 4-0. <laughs> well, if I'm Leo, I have to make sure Timon does not get a 4-0. That is that is essential. Uh, getting a good single here on these last two is is pretty much uh, the, the best the best idea. Yeah, I think you've just got to absolutely risk it all on these last couple if you're Leo. Uh, looked like a bunch of F2L yeah, mistakes really, in there. Yeah, now he really has to risk it on this last one. Yeah, uh, I mean, so I, even though he got the seven point seven there, like I can kind of, I could kind of see in the solve there that he was he was going all out, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Yeah, he definitely looked like he was going all out there. In in that situation, you kind of have to, like, you know, oh, the average Timon is, is turning so well. Yeah. Five fifty seven. <laughs> That turning was so smooth in the best possible average of 546. <laughs> Absolutely turning it on. This is a crucial two point swing potential. Leo needs to beat that 532 and potentially more. He needs a single here. He cannot allow the 4 0 sweep. And are we going to see another situation where they're, <laughs> oh, they're, they're both waiting. going to take their maximum time? <laughs> they're waiting. <laughs> the waiting strategy meets the waiting strategy. Who will be forced to start first? I think Leo scrambled first, right? But it wasn't by... Oh, all right. Interesting fake out. I think uh, Leo just decided to start there. He's like, okay, whatever. He, he, he knew he had to go first anyway. Oh! oh! 
was a good solve, but not enough. Not enough. Yeah, but Timon's going to need to beat this for the 4 0. And uh, 628 is not trivial, but uh, considering his uh, last four solves, it looks like a 100% chance. <laughs> exactly. Critical two point swing for Timon. I guess now one point swing. No, he's not going to get it. Okay. Doesn't get the 4 0. 3 0, though. Easily still, takes this average. Still. It's going to be sub six, and that's great. Uh, yeah, it's like a five, 571. And we're basically the seeing the, the grand final. The reverse of what we saw last round. Yeah. Timon only needing. Four more points to win the match. Could win it on this round, actually. Will he be able to clutch it? Or will Leo start the greatest comeback in Monkey League history? Let's see. <laughs> we saw a little comeback from Leo there, winning three in a row. But Timon just put, put an end to that. So uh, he's going to need to come back and do it again. Yeah, I think... You could just see Timon decided not enough's enough. He's got he's gotten too close, within five points. Yeah, it, I can't it, allow this anymore. It really feels like Timon just decides what happens in the match. Uh, for all the <laughs> the scripted people in the chat, uh, you know maybe you should contact Timon about about the script if you don't like it. Seems <laughs> like he controls everything. What he doesn't control is Leo going. getting an eight ten. So. That's rough. <laughs> Tim on saying it was terrible and it, it looked pretty pretty bad, or at least the start looked kinda of bad, but he, he saved it. Now that Leo's gotten eight, he just needs to go all out on every solve, and he can't mess up at all. He's basically yeah. in a need-to-be-perfect situation for the rest of the match. And that is perfect! A 526! And beautiful! Speaking of perfect. <laughs> yeah. That looked like a perfect solve to but me. But it's... It's just one. Just one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I do feel s s it kind of depends, but sometimes the the completely failed first solve frees you up for the rest of the average. I think I don't know. More often than not, you kind of see uh, people's PBs or stuff in Monkey League or records and that sort of thing starting with a horrible solve. Slightly more than would be statistically likely. That's my impression. I don't know if I have anyone has the stats available, but. <laughs> Maybe it's a, it frees you up a bit. Well, I mean, if you think it frees you up, maybe it does. Yeah. <laughs> There's also the complete counter argument, which is <laughs> you, you can't afford to make a, make any mistakes, and then you're under absolute pressure. Maybe for team, maybe that's maybe we just maybe we just read into things way too much, and uh, these times are a pretty random process. Yeah. These all seem like possible. Uh possibly correct <laughs> so both of them with the hanging high high solves can't afford to make mistakes Leo's solving really well right now nice 595 extremely smooth no. Timon there? not happy. Timon not happy. I didn't catch that solve because they started at the same time. <laughs> he seemed a bit disappointed. Maybe he's disappointed he didn't get the sub 526, but... Yeah, that might be a good it. Solve and, uh, we're we're hmm. neck and neck this round. Hmm.
Are they going to wait each other out here? Not again. Oh, no? Leo. No. <laughs> Save that for the final solve. Timon's definitely going to watch this one. Stars. It looks oh. like. No, no, not interested. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's solving so well right now, but oh no, that pair! Ah! Oh! Yeah, it looked like five, five F2L pairs or something like that. A big rotation during F2L, and Timon's gonna get this one a yeah. five sixty-six. Clutch. Very, very clutch. Oh, that pretty much locks the average for Timon. A save for a complete. Oh, okay. He needs a six ninety-two on this last one, but you know that's assuming Leo gets a sub five twenty-six. So. Uh, team on pretty much locked the average, but Leo with the better single. Uh, yep. Wow. Leo needs to really pull it out here. Ooh, the lock up no, a cross. few lock ups at the start there as well. Oh! oh smooth. 42. <laughs> yeah, but. Mm, that's not gonna cut it. I need to swap batteries uh, after two rounds, probably. Start. Timon essentially just looking to beat that 526. Mm, doesn't get it. Almost missed the need to lock. <laughs> Almost. And there we go. Timon takes that one 2 1. Mm. Extending his lead, edging ever closer to the 25 point. Well, any win of the average on this solve gives Timon the victory and the title of Monkey League Champion, but any victory of the average here for Leo keeps him in the match. Leo's gonna need to go on one of the most incredible streaks of all time to come back <laughs> right now. But if anyone can do it, it would be him. And it's 692. Well, this is it. Timon has full control, can win the match with a win of the average, and looking good on the first solve of 576. Yeah. Consistently sub 6 today, save for a couple averages. And Super looking solid. really smooth on his turning. Hasn't decided his cross color. Maybe he has. It's just deciding the orientation there. But definitely didn't inspect very well on that one. Oh. Not the greatest, but you know what? He's it's okay. He's not going to need much to win the match right now. No, no. You can see in the inspection there, a sign of a good inspection is if the cube stays in the same orientation for, you know, three or four seconds at the end. Means means the cuber is just thinking about the finger tricks and the grip rather than trying to plan or look for pairs or... Or <laughs> find the cross. Or, or plan solution. Yeah. Start. Disappointing there. He got to last layer quite early. Yeah, and he just got an extremely long last layer case. And another five. T 
team on just the five seventy eight absolutely clutching it right now. Pretty yeah. much sealing Marching. the match. One Marching more solve. Marching victory here. And this solve is going to decide it. I think. Uh, I think after this solve, it might already be over. It'll all depend on what Team Un can do here. Yeah. I don't think he doesn't need much. Does not need much. He's been dominant throughout the season. Dominant throughout this match. He's just going to need yeah. to prove it for a couple more solves. <laughs> I think he's proved it already. <laughs> but. Uh, for the for the technical title of Monkey League Season One Champion, we could see it happen right here. Oh, a four ninety four for Leo, but Timon could get something to end the match. Oh, but he doesn't. He doesn't. A seven sixty one. It's not over yet. And Leo wow. can lock wow. this average with a 539. Leo Bormeo has the opportunity to be clutch right now. Struggling the entire match, but getting a nice 494 on the fourth solve. One more solve and he could keep himself in this match. One more solve for Timon and he could win. Yeah. Timon's countings, his two counting times are faster than uh, faster than Leo's two counting times. So he does have the edge. Leo needs to beat him by, uh, I'd say, about half a second, it looks like. Maybe a little bit less. Timon does have a little buffer here. I think Leo's trying to wait for Timon's solve. We're seeing the standoff yeah. again. <laughs> Leo getting that 30 second warning and it looks like he told his judge that as soon as 30 seconds comes he wants to be notified and he's just going to start. Okay. Timon's not looking either. Oh the nerves. No that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it and that Timon's going to win the it. match. Timon Kalashinsky is your Monkey League Season 1 champion. Completely... Oh, lost two. Oh my gosh. Is it? Is it? There yeah. it is. <laughs> Just barely. Still, still, <laughs> super close. That plus two, uh... <laughs> you, you might have called yeah. it too early there. Oh. <laughs> and, uh... And Timon's very average. confused. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> and that's it. Timon was just just better throughout the entire season and uh, proved it again in the finals. That was such a dominant performance. Yeah, Timon. a dominant performance, uh, but a lot of averages were won in, in the high sixes, low sevens. Uh, Timon, congratulations on winning the season, uh, winning Thank the you. grand finals. Uh, you know, it looked looked like uh, you were solving amazingly well, like half the time. And the other half the time, you were winning by a hair. Uh, what were your impressions of today's match? Mm, I mean, I don't know. Like a few solves were good, and the rest were like okay. I mean, the rest were basically what I would just do in practice, which, like normally, I do better when I compete. So, I mean. I shouldn't really be this satisfied with them, especially since I won. But yeah, congrats to Leo on placing second. Oh. Yeah, no, big, big congratulations to to both of you guys. You guys have uh, been very, very exciting for a lot of people to watch. Um, start of the start of the match was super, super dominant. How are you? How are you feeling at the start, Timon, when you won uh, the first five matches in yeah, a five rounds was... in a row? That was when the sleep deprivation, I, I didn't really feel it yet. So I don't know. I, I had some caffeine in the morning when I woke up. And yeah, <laughs> but I mean, the the match gets to you at some point, so. Yeah, when you when you say caffeine, you mean coffee or? Uh, yeah, iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, my, my impression was, yeah, you were you were on fire at the start or not super on fire, but you know, definitely solving better. And then Leo, it, it was basically a, 
you, Leo, then you was the, was the swing. Um, and you turned it on when you really needed to right at the end, right when Leo was gaining momentum. I've seen, seen that a lot of times when people get momentum against you, you just decide, oh, no, no, I want to. Yeah, that's when I start like, feeling and the win. pressure. And yeah, it, it gives me energy. Right. Do you have any any secrets for anyone trying to do the same? <laughs> well, it's, you compete a lot and try to learn from when you don't do well. Like, yeah, and when you do well, just try to figure out what sort of mindset works for you. And then, yeah. yeah. The more you yeah. compete, the easier that is. So you've been competing a lot online. Yeah. What what have you learned? Well, and, and uh, uh, in normal comps as well. True, true. But 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 at least I guess sort of the last few months. What do you think you've learned about um, competition nerves and strategies? Uh, I don't know. Not not much probably because I've learned so much from the WCA comps already that it's hard. I think it's hard to learn more about competing because I mean I like do well or well better than I would do at home like probably 70 or 80 percent of the time and what I've noticed is that uh, what impacts it the most for me now that I know how to deal with nerves is sleep like today <laughs> I was really worried because I didn't get much sleep so yeah, I thought it's not gonna go well, but <laughs> but oh, yeah, I. I uh, Leo. <laughs> Leo uh, saying, yeah. yeah. Sorry, you got you got uh, Philip. Well, uh, Leo, congratulations on making it to the finals, getting second place. Um, Thanks. you know, you lost a lot of matches by by a hair there. Um, what what? How do you how do you feel about that? Like. Did it prevent you okay. from solving well, or was your solving just not as good today? My solves were just bad today. I don't really have an excuse. And also, like, <laughs> one thing that was, like, kind of annoying and funny was, like, well, like, I when, uh, while I was, like, waiting for Timon to solve, he was waiting as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, uh, I had to, like, solve quickly instead. Like the, yeah. like I remember like that one solve like where, like we used up like all, all the whole minute. Yeah, because <laughs> at some point I noticed that like you're you're trying to wait for me, and then I was like, well, if I also wait, then we just have to start together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, what it, what was going through your mind on the uh, the over inspection, Leo? We we kind of saw you hit twelve seconds, then you took a, took a few more seconds to finalize your grip or your cross and then by that time it was too late how did how did you how are you feeling at, at that point i don't know i just over inspected <laughs> <laughs> okay very simple it happens your perception of time can get really messed up sometimes when you're nervous yeah, yeah. and so i feel like you guys have been competing obviously a tremendous amount online um i suppose leo you you haven't been to quite as many competitions or maybe don't get to compete as frequently as Timon. Do you think these have been really, really good? And what do you, and does this change kind of how you would approach uh, official WCA competitions? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, very, very long question there. What, what have you learned about your, your nerves um, and your competing strategies over the last few months competing online that you can take when, when uh, WCA comps resume? Well, like one thing I definitely like won't really do in like WCA comps is like wait for the under, other competitor. Cause like, <laughs> that's like kind of useless. But, <laughs> what if it's Sean? Hmm? Like, what if it's Sean? Sean? Uh, I don't. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, that was that was entertaining. Uh, thanks for competing. Yeah. Yay! That, no, that was a that was a really interesting oh, match. Well, um,